Okay, <clears throat> you can see here the equation of a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. When an equation of a circle is in this form, it's very nice because you can pick out the center, which is the h, k, and the radius, which is r. Let me show you some examples of how that works. Look at number one, x squared plus y squared equals 49. Is it in that format? It sure is, and by looking at that, I know that the center is 0, 0, and the radius is 7. Now, you might not recognize this as being of that form. If you don't, you can always rewrite it. I could rewrite this as x plus 0 squared plus y plus 0 squared equals 7 squared. Now it's easy to see that the center is 0, 0 and the radius is 7. I recommend putting equations into this form to help you recognize that if you don't see it first off. Alright, here's another one. x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is 36. Do you know what the center is? Take a guess before I say it. The center is 2, 4. Do you know what the radius is? Hope you guessed 6. Alright. What about the next one? What's the center of this one? Center, 5, 0, radius, 5. What's the center of the next one? The center is an ordered pair, negative 4, 3. The radius, ooh, do you know what to do there? Root 7. 7 doesn't have a perfect square root, so call it root 7. Notice anything about my center answers and the numbers that are in these parentheses? You notice when this is x minus 4, I say 2. When this was x minus h, it's h. When it was y minus k, it was k. So y minus 4, I want to use positive 4. But if the equation doesn't have a minus in it, I could think of it as, let me squeeze this in, x minus a negative 4 squared if you really want it to be in the form of x minus h squared. I don't really bother doing that. I just realized that I use the opposite sign. So I'm sure you'll come up with a way to remember that also. Okay, here's some more. Again, using the equation of the circle. If I look at number 5 here, what's the center? And hopefully you know the center is 3, negative 5. What's the radius? 10. Alright, here's a couple questions. They give me the center and the radius, and I'm supposed to write the equation of the circle. So let's follow the pattern. That means I have to have something squared plus something squared again equals the r squared. What should I put here? Take a guess. There's the x. Whoops, not the x. There's the h. There's the k. These are always in alphabetical order, just like the x and the y. H, K, R, R. So, X minus H. How about X minus 3 squared plus Y minus 2 squared equals, not 5, 25. Alright, here's another one. X plus 3 squared. Y minus 4 squared. 64. All right, let's do one more. Suppose I had 4, 0, and radical 5. What would that be for an equation? How about x minus 4 squared plus y squared? Notice I didn't write y minus 0 squared. You could, that would be correct equals, what's root 5 squared? I hope you know, it's 5. So there we go. 
That one was a little bit tricky. You didn't get tricked though, did you? All right, this one's a little bit trickier. The question is to find the center and the radius of the circle. But this equation doesn't look like the standard form. So I have to put it into standard form. And I have to do a process called complete the square with that y because I have a y squared minus 4y and I need to write that as something squared so that I can get the center and the radius from the equation. But you remember how to complete the square. First step, rewrite the problem, grouping the y's together and the x's together. Put a space here for a missing number. Equal sign, I'm moving the 5 over to the other side because that doesn't seem to match. So, if I could find the perfect number to go there, then I could write this as something squared and I would have enough information to pick the center and the radius out of this equation. Remember how to complete the square? Take this 4, divide it by 2, that's 2, and square it. What do you get? 4. Add 4 here. Remember, if you add something to one side of an equation, you must add it to the other side of the equation. Now let's rewrite the equation. I did this for a purpose, so I could rewrite it as a binomial squared. How do I factor that? Y, is it a plus or a minus? Minus. What squared gives me 4? 2. That's why I leave the 2 there. Don't do all of the stuff in your head. So x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9. Now, can I identify the center? The center is 0, 2, and the radius is 3. Because r squared is 9, so r is 3. All right. All right, here's another one, a little bit harder. There's all kinds of stuff on this one. I need it to look like that equation if I want the center and the radius. Let's regroup. There's an x, there's an x, there's a y, there's a y. Plain old number, I'm going to put it on the other side. So, regrouping, I get x squared minus 8x plus a space, because I'm going to be doing complete the square, plus y squared plus 6y plus a space equals negative 30 plus a space plus another space. I like to put the spaces. It reminds me that I have to add things to both sides of the equation to keep the equal sign um, equal. So, remember how to find that? 8 divided by 2, 4 squared, 16, add 16 over here. 6 divided by 2, 3.